Application control is probably one of the most used security profiles in your 48. And in this era of COVID-19, I thought of bringing up a video that will show up how we can block remote control apps such as TeamViewer and how we can override it. So let's start. Remote apps is all over. So let's move to my Ubuntu device and let's just open up TeamViewer and see that everything goes well. There it is. And it's ready to connect. So it has a green light and everything is okay. So now let's just quit Team Viewer. Let's get back to my application control, create new application control. Let's just name it Block Team Viewer. And let's move to the remote access category and block it. Okay. Let's move to my policy, the policy between my Ubuntu device and the WAN interface. And let's enable in application control, let's enable the block team viewer. All right, so now we have created a security profile. We have enabled it in our policy. And let's get back to our Ubuntu device. And let's open up again team viewer. And let's see what happens. It probably still has um, some cache in it. Let's just quit, full quit of TeamViewer and let's just open it again. And we can see that it is not ready. It has issues with connectivity. So let's quit this time. Let's quit here and let's go back to our policy. Let's just disable the, um, the block team viewer security profile. Let's move back to my Ubuntu device and let's open up TeamViewer again and again it's ready to connect that's great now let's assume that we want TeamViewer to work but we don't want other applications uh, other remote apps to work so only TeamViewer will be overrided from the security profile itself so let's move back to my 48 and now let's head to our application security application control block team viewer now we will keep the remote access block and here in application override let's look for team viewer There we have it. Let's just let's just add all selected. All right. And the action, let's just edit the action. Currently it is blocked, but let's allow it. All right. Apply. Apply. So again, we have the same security profile. But currently it will stop any remote apps out there, but TeamViewer. So let's get back to our Ubuntu device. Let's just quit TeamViewer and open it again. All right. And there it is. So it's ready to connect. 
there are no issues and it's the only remote app that is allowed to work on our environment.